Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this video tutorial where I'm going to show you how to turn a headshot of your liking into an Obama Hope poster style poster. I've taken this uh, video from Blue Lightning TV. This is a simplified version of, of Marty's. Um, the key to this is this gradient map. Um, you can see that there's one, two, three, four, five stops there, okay? Um, which represent the four colors plus the pattern that you can see here on Justin's face. Okay, so this is the key, this gradient pattern is the key to getting this looking the way that we want it to look. Okay, so I'm going to start by taking my image of Justin. I've got my quick selection tool and I'm just going to select the background there and um, put Justin on a layer of his own. Command Shift I inverts the selection so the running ants are just around Justin. Command J, I've got him by himself. Okay, um, I'm going to open up a new document first and I'm going to call it Obama Justin 01 and I want it to be a thousand pixels by 15, 15 pixels and 72 pixels per inch. Okay, so there's that one there. What I'm going to do is I'll take this selection tool, click and hold my left hand mouse button hold it over there, drop him into there, okay? You can see that he's a little bit small, so what we might do is we might command T him and we might make him the right size. Make sure you hold the shift button down so he changes proportionately and I want him to be about that big, okay? Good, so I've got him by himself, but I want him in black and white, so command shift, oops, sorry. Click yes. Command Shift U to turn them into black and white. Command Shift L to do auto levels so the brights and the darks and the contrast look okay. From there, <coughs> I'm going to turn it, I'm going to filter it, and I'm going to use this cutout filter. So I'm going to go filter, artistic cutout. As I said before, we've got five colors, so the number of levels needs to be five. The edge simplicity, depending on the image that you've got, three, four, Four is probably okay for me. The edge fidelity, the higher the edge fidelity, the more detail. We don't want more detail, we want less. So leave that onto one, four and five. Okay, so I've got him like that. That's beautiful. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to posterize him. So by clicking on this, I can click on to posterize. And again, there's five colors. So I've got five adjustments. I can go back here and I'm going to set up a gradient map, that gradient map that I told you about before. Double click on that. By clicking that stop there, I, double clicking on that stop there, I've got this coming up. And what I want to do is I want to change that color. I've got the numbers here. I want to change that color to 003 to 4D. Okay. Double click on here and I'm going to change that color to E01825, the red color. And that needs to be at location 25. Okay, good. 50%, I want color 7498A4. And that needs to be at location 50. And then at 75, I need to put in loc. I need to put in FDE 5A9, which is that cream colour, and that's at 75. And then the last stop, just double click on the stop there. I'm going to put in the same number, so FDE 5A9. I've got that colour there. Excellent. So I've got a good looking gradient editor. That looks good. I've got that gradient. Excellent. So you can see it's already starting to look okay. We're just missing, we're just missing this middle color here. That's that second darkest color. Sorry, I don't want to posterize. That's that gradient map. So it's that second darkest color there is also the same color. This is where we're going to put that pattern. Okay, so we're going to do that now. I put that pattern on now and this killed me when I was trying to work out how to do this but I finally worked out how to do it so I just want to see that layer there 
I'm going to go to the magic wand tool, put my tolerance at about 10, make sure contiguous is ticked off, and I'm going to click that second lightest color. Okay, so I've got the running ants going around the second lightest color. Layer one is highlighted. I'm actually going to open up a new layer and I'm going to mask that second lightest color onto this here. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down to my foreground and background color. My background color is going to be at bright oh, sorry, is going to be at brightness 50%. Okay. Remember 50% is that light blue color. The light blue color is the color of the lines in that pattern. Okay? So that's at 50%. Brilliant. And now I can go ahead and command backspace. Oops. I need that one highlighted. Command backspace. And I've filled that in with that 50% color. Okay? I don't just want that solid color. I actually want it lined. So still highlighting this box here. I'm going to go to filter, sketch, halftone pattern. I want a size of 1, a contrast of 50. Hit OK. I've now got that halftone pattern. Oop! There's one thing that I've done wrong. I hate it. I do it all the time. Please make sure that this is at white. Make sure your foreground color is white, your background color is that gray. And now I'll try that once more halftone pattern again. Excellent. Can you see that? That's looking great. Let's turn on the posterize. Let's turn on the gradient map. That's looking like what we want. Thank God for that. Seriously, this took me a long time to work out. I'm very happy to have that, have that happen for me now. Okay, so the background colors. What I'm going to do in this background color, I'm going to open up a new layer. In this background color, behind Justin, we've got a red on the right and a blue, the light blue on the back. So by just taking a marquee, and by just filling it, let's change the foreground color. The foreground color needs to be red, so I'm just going to do the color picker. Foreground color needs to be red. Use my paint bucket tool and just fill that. Sweet. Okay, get the marquee tool, and I'm just going to marquee. I can go over that a little bit if I wanted to. And I need to make that foreground color that light blue color. Light blue color. Excellent. Fill. Fill. Okay, so I've got that. Command D to deselect, okay? And now I've got a good looking background. Now what I need to do is I need to do the text and I need to do the border and all that sort of stuff. So I'll set up a new, a new layer and that layer is gonna go up to the top, okay? And what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to, first of all, put the text box in. And that text box, the, the color of that text box is going to be that dark blue color. So I've got the text box, and I'll just fill that text box up. Excellent. Good. And then I need to make sure that I've got my um, border. And the border is going to be that cream color. So I'm going to open that there, something like that. I'm going to Command Shift I, so I've actually got the border highlighted, not the middle of it. And again, change the color. Change the color to that one there. Okay. Hopefully that will work. And come and then I will use my paint bucket tool and fill that up. Oh, interesting. It's not filling up. Right. That's right. So I need you to do the whole lot. Command D to deselect. Excellent. So that's looking pretty good. Now all I need to do is I need to put in the text. So the next thing is to put in the text. The text that I'm using is Nevis. Um, the size, whatever you want to use. Um, and I'm just going to put it there. That's probably a bit too big, isn't it? So let's make it 100. And let's go back to there. And I'm just going to caps lock it. And, and just call it Justin. Okay. Um, it's this color, which I like. Um, if you haven't got that color, you can click on that. Again, use the sampler to get the right color. Actually, you know what? I might actually, instead of using that color, I might actually use this color instead. I think that'll work better. Action, sorry, I need to hit OK first. Then I need to change the color. OK, there you go. Excellent. So that's OK, but of course it's too small. So I might grab it and I might Command T, it, hold the Shift button down and make it 
large enough. Move it till I'm happy with where it should be. Um, and hit OK. OK. That's it in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the final thing is you can do it, you can do a bit of a tidy up. So what I can do is I can take all of these and I can hit Command, Shift, Alt and E. And what it'll do, it'll put just one layer of him, the whole complete layer up on the top. So if I want to tidy some things up, like I don't like that red there and I don't like that black thing there, I might just tidy that up. Hit an Alt and the eyeball and everything else will be turned off except for him, okay? And now I can Z for zoom, make sure scrubby zoom's turned off. And I can go in there and let's say I want to move, let's say I want to get rid of, sorry, let's go window, let's go window. Um, Let's say I want to get rid of this thing here. So what I might do is I might go to the pencil tool. First of all, I'll make the color, this color here. I've got my pencil tool open and I can make that a little bit larger. Make my thing a little bit larger. Oops, sorry, mate. Um, you can see the size of my brush is not showing. So I can get rid of that if I want. If I want to get rid of that there, um, if I want to get rid of that there, so I might go and change the color. No, why am I using that? Let's use the brush tool instead. Um, we'll use the brush tool, and I'll make the foreground color that red color instead. And then I'll paint in that. Let's make him a bit bigger. Paint that out, etc., etc., etc. Especially around the edges here, you might want to just get rid of that stuff around the edges there. So again. I've got my, my red colour showing. I can fill it in. Of course, that looks like rubbish. So I'll leave that for you guys to do. Um, but good luck with that. And um, see you in school. Ta-ta.